Welcome to Mother Bear. Today I am going to make, actually I'm going to make a bear. And it's going to be a uh, mother bear. It's going to be the symbol for, for my mother bear. So how I'm going to make it, I'm going to use this detergent bottle, tin foil, and tape to create the frame for mother bear. So uh, what I'm going to do first is get some tin foil out. And the back part here, we're going to actually fill that in. Tinfoil around Mother Bear's body. When we do this, um, always put the side inside out. The tape, fits, uh, the tape sticks better to it. Take that there. A couple pieces of tape. Okay, I'm going to 
paper mache the front. Okay, we're gonna get that all done. And uh, we'll be good to go. Alright, so we're gonna start on the front. Paper mache and we'll go by pretty quick on this if there's any places where I think that you need to know a little more about. Uh, I'll stop and I'll explain some stuff to you, okay? Mother Hand is going to go on its way and work tonight. <laughs> Okay, so I've got my 
my curious gray paint. So I'm just going to start painting her and um, just all over. Probably end up using my hands like I usually do. I always try to start with a paintbrush, but who knows, maybe Dave, this how it's going to be. So you can just get it all over the place in the face. And uh, you just want to get all the nooks and crannies and everything, okay? Turn it around here. And see how I got the head there. Any smoothing out we'll do afterwards. I'm just going to paint this away. So we're going to speed this up a little bit, okay? So my hand is going to go. My mother hands are going to go into uh, fast action here, and we'll be done in no time. Okay? I'll slow down if I need to talk to you about something. All right? what I suggest is, and this is just from experience, is just to make sure you put the primer, just put around a cup of primer and to start off with, and then slowly add, with your beaters, slowly add the flour. Don't add the primer to the flour as I, as I originally had done, because it gets pretty lumpy. So what you want to do is um, put, put in some primer into a container and have your beaters ready and slowly add the flour mixture and then that way you get a nice smooth texture and you'll see when you have to add more primer just have some on hand and pour it into the thickness that you want. I've got this thickness right here. I've got two what I want it so it's easy to paint on and um, I will use a bought, prime, uh, bought um, mud mixture to do the fine features of the face. So, uh, it just, it just uh, blends better and it also, uh, what I find personally, is you can, because it's like more of a, a clay, uh, you can sand it. The stuff I'm putting on, it's hard to sand, you can wet it and smooth it as you go. Once it's dry, you can't, you can, but you really can't, it doesn't do a good sanding job. So that's why I suggest to use, um, it's, um, you can buy it, uh, it's a spackle uh, dry tex, you can buy DAP, you can buy it at any home hardware place, uh, home hardware, Rona, uh, you can buy it at uh, Lowe's, uh, Home Depot, so you can buy it anywhere, so, okay. Um, as I said, I am just going to go and put this on as I have started here, as you can see, I'm just going to turn this little guy around. And as you can see, I started muddying the front and everything of it. And it's a liquidy enough that I can paint it on so I can get in all the cracks and everything on here. I'll probably end up using my hands afterwards. I always say, no, I'm going to use a brush. But we'll see if I can get through this without using my hands. So we'll see what happens here. Okay, so Mutter Hands is going to go back to work here. And we are going to get this done and I'll stop again if I need to tell you about stuff. All right, mutter hands, here we go. So it's drying properly. There we go. Turn it this way. All right. 
So we just want to make sure you, you double check, you get all the nooks and crannies. When this dries a little bit, I'm going to go and do the eyes. I'm not going to smooth anything out because of that I put on here because I did want more of a rough surface because Mother Bear is a bear and she has fur. So I'm going to put a texture on there. Put it on the feet too. And on the arms. That way it just um, makes it a little more realistic here. Okay guys, um, like I said, let this dry and then when it dries, um, we will start on the facial features, the bum, the tail, uh, and get those all done up and looking nice. And right now they're they're kind of crude. So uh, we'll see you in, um, well, actually I'll see you in a flash. Okay, we will see you in a bit. And the magic of the camera will bring us back sooner than we think. Okay, until then, take care. Okay, welcome back. So this is dried enough that we can do the eyes and everything and the tail. So we're going to work on the tail first. So we've got this pink putty, our drywall. And we'll put it on here and make the tail kind of fluffy. So that's what we're doing here, as you can see. So we're just going to put that on there. Fill it in, making a nice big, bigger tail. So I'm just going to put that on so we want to get that nice and fluffy and when this is dry it'll be white so that's when you know it's ready ready to go now I'm going to put it on a little bit rough and as it dries start to turn white I will smooth it out okay so that's what we're going to do and I'm going to do the bum so mother hand is going to go to work again okay here we go Okay, <clears throat> so it's going to look kind of crude right now, but it has to dry and we'll smooth it out afterwards. So, as you can see, the bum and the tail, we'll get that smoothed out afterwards and fix that up. All right. Now, as you can see, we've got the eyes done, the nose, and the feet done, on the, on the chin also. Uh, the reason why I decided to do the feet, just to make them a little more fluffier. And uh, so we're going to let this dry for around 15, 20 minutes, and then we'll come back and work our magic on it. So we'll see you in 15 minutes, and in YouTube time, we'll see you in a few seconds. Okay, bye. Okay, welcome back. Uh, sorry, it took me longer than I thought. You wouldn't know that, but I might be wearing some different clothes. Things happen better uh, here than never. But anyway, I'm back, well dried. Um, here's my bear. I did some mudding with some uh, stuff that I could sand. So this is more of a drywall mud. So I, re I put it on the face and kind of smoothed out the face and just raised the cheek a little bit. Added uh, some more texture on the head, made the feet a little bit wider, okay, and I filled out right in here to even out the sides, the, side, the hip was not as big as this side, so I evened it out to put the mud on there, and I made my mother bear's bum nice and fluffy, and same with the tail, filled out the eyes again. Mother Bear's going to have some nice eyes, and I'm going to put some eyelashes on, on her too. So the one thing that I did forget to do, that I'm going to do and let her dry, and I promise you I will be back as soon as the bottom dries, we didn't mud the bottom. So today, you got to make sure that you mud the bottom, because if you forget, it's just like, oh, you painted it, and I got to turn it. So we're going to mud the bottom right now. It's not going to take long. I'm going to put it out. It's 30 degrees outside today. So I'm going to mud it and I'm going to put it outside and um, it won't take long for it to dry. So I'm just going to do that now. Just going to get on, get in there, stir it up a little bit again. We know what the mixture is that I have here. What I'm using for this one is uh, paint and primer or just paint or both uh, with 
a cup of flour and a teaspoon and a third of salt. So, we're doing that. That's not going to take long. So what I'm doing is put it on there, rub it on with my hands. Get that done. Get her done. Oh, it's there. And uh, we'll let that dry. And uh, then we'll continue on with sanding the top. Pretty much good to go though. And then we're going to spray it and let that dry. Then we're going to get into our painting. So we will do that. So the bottom here, you want to get it nicely covered because it's going to be sitting wherever. If it gets wet, you want it protected. But this stuff here that I'm putting on, it protects it very well. You may not be able to sand this, but it seals up nicely on wet surfaces. It won't, we spray it too, and it holds up nicely, this stuff here. So the other stuff I use to do the sanding around the face and everything is uh, you can sand that stuff. What's kind of neat too that it's different colors. You can see where I filled in with the other stuff. So, okay, uh, that's it for now. I'm just gonna double check, make sure I got it all done. The bottom is done. Make sure of that. And Mother Bear is gonna go out and dry. Okay, so the bottom is nice and dry. So I'm back here. Nice and dry on the bottom. So what we're going to do now is we're going to spray him with a flat um, painter's touch uh, primer. So that way it's ready to paint. So we'll just shake this up a bit. Shake, 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 spray it. Her. Okay, so getting all sprayed. Everything looks sanded in that so we're good nothing too major so we're just going to spray get everything covered all right okay we'll see you in a few minutes all right so until then have a coffee or a muffin we'll talk to you later bye Okay, welcome back everyone. Alright, so paint has dried, went and got our little mother bear. So basically what we need to do is we have to decide what color we're going to paint mother bear. So what I did, I picked out some paint here. I'm going to paint espresso, but I'm going to mix a little bit of white with it because I don't want it too dark. I'm going to make him kind of a, a light brown color. So. I'm going to mix my paint. So I've got my two paints. So I mainly want the espresso in here. So I, what you can do is just use a paper bowl or a bowl of any sort uh, for the main color because I'm going to use quite a bit of it. So I'm just going to move Mother Bear just out of the way here. So I just, uh, I'm not sure how much I'm going to need. So I'm just going to squeeze that in and I'm going to just add a little bit of white as I go. And what I want to do is get a little bit of water kind of tap it in there because we're going to go to the base and I'm going to mix it up and just, just see what kind of color I want the bear to be. And I'm just going to test it out here on the, on the hand there. Um, I think just a little bit lighter is what I'm thinking. Because I was going to do the apron red but I'm going to do it black, I think. Mother Bear is going to have black aprons, just like I'm going to have black aprons. So, and I think this is going to be better. Yes, okay. So, I am going to paint the whole thing brown, uh, not leave this um, and then do that afterwards. The reason I'm doing that is that every piece of the bear is covered in brown. When that dries and I can do the apron and I can work from the base on that. That way there's no little white spots missing. If there's anything in this, it's gonna be brown, it's gonna be part of the bear. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put the bear in the middle here and I'm gonna just start painting. And um, time's gonna fly, okay? All right, so we're just gonna paint. Enjoy watching.
it's not going to take long because you know what? Mother Bear's hands are going to go into action. So now I think what we're going to do is work on the eyes. The eyes are going to be a brown, dark brown, black color. So I have my brown. I'll mix it in with a little bit of black. There we go. I'm going to get a small paintbrush here. Mix black in with that for the eyes. There, let's get the eyes painted. So we'll let this uh, get everything details done and let it dry. And spray in it tomorrow. Which I think I'm going to have to get some eyelashes to put on here again. Okay, so that's done. Now, I want to paint the nose part a lighter color in here. I should have done the black last, but nope, I didn't do that. So we'll just do that now with a different paintbrush here. We're going to go with a smaller one yet. So I'm going to do that. I'll show you in a second here. See how close I can get to that black without smudging it. On the ears too, so I'll show what I've done so far. Looking kind of cute. I've done the black eyes, okay, then I've done the, the cream color here for the bear. Things that will do, but other than that, get done, we can spray her and we can uh, put her eyelashes on. Mother Bear will be ready to rock and roll. Okay, so I got the sign made. This is Mother Bear, okay. So now what we're going to go do, I'm going to take him outside and I'm going to spray him. I don't really want to spray him in here because uh, we need to, the spray is pretty potent so I would like to spray it outside and he's all dry, she's all dry and everything. I will come back and we'll have a final look at Mother Bear. Okay, we're back. So I did do the Mother Bear sign like I said I was going to. But then I decided that, you know what would be better? I decided that I would put Mother Bear on her. So on her apron, it says Mother Bear. So she's all done. Mother Bear has a paintbrush in one hand and a mudding stick in the other. That is me as a bear. This is Mother Bear. She's got her eyelashes on. She is all done. So I think she turned out pretty darn cute, if I don't say so myself. But that's how you make a bear out of a detergent bottle. It's easier than you think. So thank you for watching and um, stay tuned to the next adventure that I decide to take. And I'm not quite sure what that's going to be yet, but keep an eye out and uh, stay tuned to Mother Bear. Have a great day, guys.